Welcome to Flash Tutorial 61, Cannonball Part 3. It's a follow-up to Cannonball Part 2, which I have opened on my computer now. Make sure all the layers are locked. I'm on Scene 1. Select this Buttons layer, unlock it, click on the first frame, and let's make the stage around 200. And right somewhere here, we're going to make another button. So I want it to be a circle. So open up your oval tool. And I'm going to go with the red and black here. Holding my shift down, I'm making a button similar in size to those two that are already there. There it is. Pick up my selection tool, highlighting it. Make sure I get everything selected. Modify, convert it to a symbol. I'm going to select button and I'm going to call it shoot S H O O T underscore B T N. Copy this. Open the properties panel. It's still selected. This tells me here there's the button shoot and paste in that instance name. And while we're at it, pick up the text tool. And directly above here, make a text box. I'm using the, the New Roman, Time New Roman. You could use Verdana, it doesn't really matter. Drop this down to about 12 or 8. I think 12 is what I want. Make sure it's static text this time. Again, static text. And naturally, I want to call it shoot. S H O O T. Pick up my selection tool and then dragging it down here and putting it above the above the button. Now I want to make this easier for myself, so I'm going to go back to 100%. And I want the buttons unlocked and the button text. Everything else is locked. I got the buttons and the button text. If I highlight them, and I'm going to just take them and drag them up here because when I'm opening my and testing it out, I'm having to do a lot of adjustment because it's down here at the bottom of my stage. Lock on all the layers. Select the text button layer. Insert a layer. Call it text. T-E-X-T -E dynamic D Y N as in dynamic text. Select that first frame. Pick up your text tool. And right here, opposite let's make this a little bigger so we can see it again. Right opposite the word equals on the angle. Draw a text box. I'm going to make this one Verdana. Eight points, and I'm making it leaving it black and in here I'm putting zero zero making sure it's dynamic text see this dynamic text and we're going to give this a name a instance name of a n g underscore t x t pick up my selection tool and just bring it down here and put it in line. Then we're going to click again the selection, this text tool, make another one. It has all the same characteristics and it's going to be called PWR underscore TXT. And in there I'm putting two zeros. Again, it's dynamic text. And pick up my selection tool. And now I have something to indicate what angle I'm on and something to indicate what power I have. Lock all the layers again. Select the actions layer first frame. That's where our action code is. Open the panel and under the stop, type, 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 type. I'm a slow typer, so I'm just pasting it in. And we're setting up some some kind of variables. This is them to 
text boxes we just made angle underscore text period text equals quotation one close quotation semicolon you can just copy that now and paste it here change the angle ang to pwr that's the second one we made now we're making three variables var this will turn purple this is the, going to be something called ang power capital ang capital pwr colon it's a number capital nu and soon should probably go nu it'll a pop-up menu will come up you can hit hit enter and it'll say number equals zero semicolon you can copy that if you want or you can start from scratch and rewrite var ang colon number equals one semicolon and then var power capital pwr colon number with a capital n equals one semicolon number number text text are all those words are blue and these in quotations are green so now let's come down to the bottom of where we are with the code this deals here with the with the rotate with the angles and at the end of these couple of enters and I want you to now we're going to start writing the code for these power buttons type 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 capital PWR1 underscore BTN that's the first button add event listener it's, it's very similar to what's up here if you want to copy these lines up here and paste them in just make the appropriate changes it's add event listener most listener click that all stays the same the comma this becomes capital PWR1 close bracket semicolon it's another function it says PWR1 open bracket event colon most event same as what's up here void there's the open curly bracket for the function and that power underscore text period text equals quotation one quotation semicolon and we're going to take that power PWR that we just made and make that a 10 and it's followed by a closed curly bracket that takes care of button power button number one come down to this last curly bracket copy all this right click copy a couple enters paste it now we're going to do button two so where you see a one here put a two put a two here put a two here this becomes power button text 2 and this becomes 20 come to the end enter twice now we're doing paste in what we copied again this becomes power button 3 3 3 3 and 30 at the end insert two lines paste again this is power button 4 and because it's a beginner's tutorial I'm going to go through all these motions and finally paste in the last button and this one is our number 5 let's just check that power button out to make sure that displays properly here's the buttons and this is the one we're changing if I click that the one stays the one now it goes two three four five so this one works and now we have to make this one up here the angle button the angle changes the angle of the cannonball but it's not registering yet here in the text window go up to where we are pressing those angle buttons let's just comment this out with two backslashes click on in here and type in this type 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 
angle underscore text period text that's one of those variables we just made up top equals quotation one quotation semicolon and on the next line angle that's the variable this was the text box this is the variable equals one semicolon copy those right click copy come down to the next button do the same thing comment this out and paste in it paste it in make this a two make this a two and naturally we got this last one to do comment it out and paste it in and this is going to be a three and this is going to be a three and let's make sure they are registering we know these ones do yeah if i look at this it should be a three two one two three very good okay i made a small error i'm going to correct it i'm at the very bottom with this power five this should be power five here backspace power four on this one instead of 40 backspace 30 and i'll explain this to you in a minute backspace 20 and backspace 10 and here's where i should have this angle should be 30 instead of 3 this one here should be 20 instead of 2 and this should be 10 instead of 1 and this is how this is going to work if I press one of these angle buttons, so let's say I press the button 2, that'll put a value of 20 in this a word, this variable ang. Then if I press one of the powers, for example, if I press power 4, it'll put a 4 in what's called power. So the sum of that would be 20 for this one, plus 4 is 24. So that would know, and I would know that I selected those two buttons, the total would be 24. Using the values I got, I cannot get any other combination to make 24. I can get 1, I can get, I can get 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 by using this one. I can get 21, 22, 23, 24 by using this one. And I can get 30, 31, 32, 30, I can get 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 using this one. That's the only combinations I could get. So now let's come down to the very bottom and let's type in the code for the button to shoot. Type, 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 type. There it is. Shoot underscore button. Again, you can copy this add event listener in this function line and bring them down the easiest way. But make sure you put the word shoot in here. Make sure you put the word shoot in here. And here's what we're saying. Anytime I press this shoot button, I'm going to have the var there's a variable that we called ang power. It's going to add those two numbers together. And there are only 15 combinations we can get adding them together. And we're going to start by putting the first one down. The first combination is 11. So now, if if bracket ang capital PWR capital A equals equals you need two equal signs because it's a test 11 1 1 close bracket if that's true right now we're going to there's an open curly bracket called trace t-r-a-c-e open bracket quotations zero quotation actually let's make this 11 11 close bracket semicolon and at the same time Anytime we press this shoot button, I want to trace T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, quotation, shoot, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon, and there's my close curly bracket for this particular function. So now we're going to make a whole bunch of them. So starting right here, I'll do two more and then we'll break off. So copy that. See what I copied? From here up to there. Click here at the end of that curly bracket before this one. Two enters. Paste. The next combination will be 12. I'm going to put a 12 in here. Click here again. 
two enters, paste. This one's going to be 13. 13. Come here, paste. This is going to be 14. And 14. Two enters, paste. This will be 15 and 15. Now, that that is what I'd get by pressing this angle one and those five. Now it's going to be a paste in this. Now it's going to be a case of where I'm going to have the second button on the angle pressed with the first button on the power. And now we'll do the same thing here. This will be 22, 22. 22. Paste it. If you're following me right, you'll know that this one's going to be 23. 23. Paste it. 24. 20. 24. Now I'm going to do the rest of them, and when I come back, I'll show you what I did. Okay, I have them all done, and we left off somewhere around 20-something. There's 21, followed by 22, then it's 23, 24, 25, then it goes to 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So now let's test this out. Hopefully there's no errors. No errors. Now, if I go... There, one, two, there's a one, there's a two. Okay, I got two up, and I got five. So when I press this, I should display 25 and shoot. Here's three and two. When I press this, 32 and shoot. One and five, so it should be 15 when I shoot. And we're going to use these to tell us where to which cannonball to fire. Go back to the main timeline, open the ball movie clip, make sure all the layers are locked, select the top, very top layer, insert layer, and call it action script AS, and Come up to right here where I'm starting this next group. This next set is A1P2. Insert a blank keyframe. Come up here. Insert a blank keyframe. The same place. Oh, wrong one. Insert a blank keyframe and do that all the way up and I'll get back to you. I have all those blank keyframes inserted. Go to this first one, open the Actions panel, and let's put in a stop. S-T-O-P, open, close, bracket, semicolon. Make sure it's not a capital S. Uh, stop should turn blue. Right-click, copy it. Go back to the timeline, click this one. Open the Actions panel, paste it in. Do all those keyframes, and I'll get back to you. And when you've done that, you should have a little A in all those keyframes that we go back Pull back so I can see frame one. Lock that actions layer. Insert a layer and call it frame, F-R-M as in frame, capital L-A-B as in labels. And right here, after the first keyframe here, which the action script has something in, right click, insert a blank keyframe. Open your Actions panel, or open your Properties panel. Click right here. This is the frame. We're going to give it a name. And we're going to give it the name of this here, this guide name, this A1P1. So in here, capital A1, capital P1. Come right here to the next, the next action script. Go up here to the one after it. Insert a 
explain keyframe come over here and type in a1 p2 and I got that from following this back and right here insert blank keyframe and this is going to be a1 p3 a1 p3 and that's what we're going to go down to as far as 5 then we're going to go to a2 p1 up to a2 p5 and then a3 and so on I'll get back to you when I have them completed I have them completed up to and including a3 p5 go back to scene 1 open the actions panel let's go up to the top of this where we are testing for these powers and we press the shoot button here where we're tracing 11 click at the end of this curly bracket put a line in and type 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 this when we have the proper selection of the angle and the power that's equal to 11 we want a certain ball to move and it's BALL underscore MC period go to and play small g small t capital A capital P that turns blue open bracket quotation capital A1 capital P1 close quotation close bracket semicolon that's that label that we put on that ball movie clip and I'm just going to leave the traces here for now just in case something doesn't work so copy this right click copy go down to the next one and in the same place paste it in but now make this P2 go down to the next one paste it oops not good didn't like where that went oops down here paste it this is going to be P3 and this tells me right here that see it's just it's the same combination A1 P3 come down here paste it this is going to be A1 P4 and naturally when we get down to A2 it'll be A2 and A3 and so on so I'm going to finish them off and get back to you now I got that finished so in each case whatever number was here like 3 5 we'd have an A3 and a P5 up here it was A3 P3 because it was 33 and now let's give this a try I'm going to select 35 so that should send my ball my cannonball all the way up to here see that so let's do 11 it's only going to go to this one and let's go halfway approximately 23 so it should come up somewhere around here or oh, this is quite a long video so I didn't really want to have to do another part but I'm going to have to it will be flash tutorial 62 cannonball part 4 if you plan on doing it make sure you save this FLA I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn